Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Crizzy here. And in this movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the 1999 movie, Ed TV, directed by Ron Howard and produced by Brian Grazer. So Ed TV, it, 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 it takes place like, you know, in like, you know, it's like, the, the story of Ed TV goes like this. In a desperate attempt to, to boost ratings, a cable channel decides to document the, the life of someone on a daily basis and air the footage a, a, as a show. That lucky someone turns out to be Ed, like, like a guy named Ed who's played by Matthew McConaughey. Who's basically, it, it, you know, because Ed is pretty much, is pretty much like, a, like a video store clerk, like he works at a movie store, like, you know, a video store. And so, well, while the TV series ma makes Ed an, an overnight celebrity, it, it also begins to wreak havoc on his personal life, complicating his relationship with his new girlfriend, Sherry, and and, and causing tension with, with, with his brother, Ray. And, you know, it's like... And then, of course, like, Ed, ha Ed has to do whatever he can to try and solve these problems to see, to see, it, it, to see whether, 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 if, it, whether he could still be on, on live television or, or, or go back to his normal daily life basis. Yeah, because the because Ed TV is kind of is kind of like the Truman Show a little bit when you think about it, and plus you know and, and and like I said, there was there was like other movies out there that take that take inspiration from the Truman Show, like like this movie Ed TV, and of course Don't Worry Darling, and 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 the twenty twenty one film with Ryan Reynolds, Free Guy. Yeah, but anyway, I I recently rented this movie on Amazon after I watched the Truman Show, and I gotta say, guys. This this movie Ed TV I, I actually kind of like Ed TV I, I I thought it was pretty good, and I also think it's also I, I also think it's one of Ron Howard's underrated films he worked on. Yeah, because because I mean the story itself like I said the story itself kind of does feel a little bit like the Truman Show a little bit because I because I can see how Ron Howard and Brian Grazer to, took inspiration from the Truman Show and decided to make their own version of the Truman Show called Ed TV. And, and of course, this was actually Ron Howard's. This was actually the movie that Ron Howard released in 1999, which was the, which was the movie which was the movie that was released before Ron Howard Ron Howard did his live action take on on How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. And then after the live action Grinch movie, Ron Howard also Ron Howard directed the Russell Crowe movie A Beautiful Mind, which won many awards. Yeah, because you see, guys. I, I I really I really adore Ron Howard. I think I think Ron Howard is actually a, a talented filmmaker and actor. When he was on The Happy Days, which I remember watching that show a long time ago, and because I think I think Ron Howard is would have to be like one one of my one of my all time favorite filmmakers and directors. Because Ron Howard ha has made some really good movies, and almost forgot to mention I also like the Paul I also love the Paul Thirteen, of course. Like you know that that Ron Howard worked on. I like I I love the Paul Thirteen, and even last year in twenty twenty two. I also I also really liked um, Ron Howard's new movie, which came out last year on Amazon, Thirteen Lives, and even Ron Howard Ron Howard himself actually liked my tweet on Twitter when I shared my thoughts on Thirteen Lives. He was actually the one who liked my tweet, and that was amazing. That was that was great. And I gotta say, Brian Grazer, the way Ron Howard and Brian Grazer work on their films, I think they make a great team together. With since, since Imagine Entertainment was the company that made this movie, and and even Universal Pictures has been has been involved with with Imagine Entertainment with a lot of their films though, like back in the old days and and yeah and I gotta say for Ed T when they made Ed TV I gotta say like I, I gotta say like, I gotta say, I really do appreciate how Ron Howard and Brian Grazer took inspiration from the Truman Show and decided to make their own version called Ed TV which I, I know I said that a couple times or a few but. But let's talk about the performances. The performances in Ed TV, I think, are they're, they're, they were actually pretty solid. I gotta say, like, what, I, I gotta say that the, the cast members all did a good job here. Like, I think Woody Harrelson was good as like Ray and Jenna Elfman. She did good. Oh yeah, and Rob Reiner. Rob Reiner was in the film too. I thought he was good for the most part. And but I gotta say, Matthew McConaughey, who plays Ed in the film, Matthew McConaughey, he he, I, I thought he actually did very good. Oh yeah, and and of course the and of course the the lady who who's basically one one of the people in charge of Ed TV the like 
like Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. Like Ellen DeGeneres actually plays Cynthia in this movie, and I think I think because I, I I think that this was actually this was actually this was actually before Ellen DeGeneres played Dory from Finding Nemo, and then that same year in two thousand three, Ellen DeGeneres got her own talk show. Yeah, and, and I gotta say that I think I think this I think her her role in the Truman, excuse me. Her role in Ed TV, like the way Ellen DeGeneres ha is in this movie, I gotta say her performance was actually was actually, I think it was actually good as well. Like like a, a, in terms of her early roles, like you know before Finding Nemo and her talk show, the Ellen DeGeneres show. Yeah, because because pretty much you know every pretty much every almost everyone in this movie they they all did a pretty good job working on this movie. Yeah, because and, and and while the story itself does feel a little bit like the Jim Carrey movie, like I said, the Truman Show, th this movie was actually a good movie. I I, I really enjoyed it. I kind of liked it for the most part. So overall, Ed TV was a a good movie from 1999, and I'm gonna give Ed TV three and a half out of five stars. If you haven't watched Ed TV yet then I say give it a watch. It's not that bad. I recommend it. And there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Ed TV, And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. 8 Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.